Alright, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Sunday Night Live stream of Medieval Dynasty, where, of course, today we're going to be continuing on in our adventures in Oxbow, where, sadly, I actually was way too busy this weekend and was unable to do anything off camera. So we are right where we left off in the last episode, and I'm very annoyed by that because I had plans for things to do, but... <laughs> Sadly, just life did not cooperate. That being said, since I, if I'm remembering correctly where we left off, it's not quite the end of the day. So I'm thinking we talked to that last person who we needed to over in this area and then just build a campfire. <laughs> go to bed there for the night instead of riding all the way back home my plan for off cam was to ride home then spend a day off cam building getting some houses ready for the next season etc but uh just like i said life man life i had way too many things to do this weekend and just not enough time to do them all in so uh yeah let's <laughs> Let's go back and who's the next person we had to talk to in this quest that we're in? Trying to dissuade some idiot kid from trying to make a rebellion. <laughs> oh, we had Wilhelm. Okay, if he... Okay, you know what? With all the pop culture references in this, if he doesn't scream, I'm actually going to be very disappointed in, um, in the game here. Very disappointed. <laughs> and Eweasel Water, what am I drinking tonight? You are having Bushmills. Oh, I haven't had Bushmills in ages. I'm just having some homemade ale that I made. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, horse. Well, donkey, there you are, buddy. Let Aww. us go ride to Wilhelm. And... Yeah, move this quest along. We, I doubt we'll be able to finish it in this day, considering it is getting late at night, and I have a feeling we're going to have to head all the way back to um, Piastovia to do, like, the final bit. Talk to the, what was it, Otger or whoever again at the end. But for now, let's see if we can finish talking to all the people here. At the very least, I think that'll be good. And then, yeah, we'll just camp out for a change, which I actually don't think we've... No, we have done. We have done earlier on in the series here. But yeah, we've predominantly, you know, headed back home most days. Hmm. Nifty. Oh god, I'll actually have to, you know, hike out of town a little bit, won't I? Even to build a campfire. Alright, not that far. We can go up like this road a bit and we'll be fine. Good times. Good times. And Galatas, how dare you call me lazy, man? I had such a... <laughs> Such a busy ass weekend. Oh. All right, where is this Wilhelm fella? And oh yeah, I forgot. There's all the stuff to steal in here. Well, Wilhelm first. Hello, Wilhelm. Get lost. You're not supposed to be here. You know what? Have you not seen me talking to the others? I convinced to leave. But yeah, sure. One hand washes the other. Worst, worst passcode ever. Understood. Welcome to team. Any new orders from the boss? He asked for a status report. I presume you're in charge of those uh, ninnies, correct? I mean, you, you mean the ones who have left now? Not officially, but I doubt any of them has ever seen any real action like you have, Wilhelm. <laughs> I try to do everything in my power to teach them how to fight, but scarecrows and archery targets are not fighting back. You can't know for sure if somebody's ready without a true adrenaline rush from real combat. Sure, but you're not going to find that anywhere around the, this neck of the woods, considering the bandits all just kind of walk towards you. Well, you know, I guess, you know, wolves or something. They're still a threat. And bears. Just not bandits. Well, I'm guessing you have a lot of experience in that matter. Doubtful. Oh, he is 39, though, so he is, he's been around a while. He looks a lot younger. Huh. Yeah, sure. Experience. Maybe even more than I'd like, but this mission, if successful, is going to be my last. When that fat bastard's head is removed from his neck, there's nothing left for me to do but enjoy a simple farm life. Ha <laughs> ha, you'll be executed too. I see that you know what you're doing. Can I ask you something? What do you honestly think about Otker's plan? It's not my place to criticize my superiors. Oh, but we're about to. <laughs> Well, it's not like he's here. That's a private question. You can be frank with me. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. 
orders should never be followed blindly. I agree as well. But, yeah, you can be frank with me. The plan is uh, fine, but not for the people involved. It's a suicide mission. And it was crafted like that, no, like that either or on purpose or by mistake. Both reasons are equally troubling. Very true. I'm glad that you share my concern. I'm more and more convinced that we should abandon the mission. You do you. I cannot back down from killing that son of a bitch. No matter the cost, I'm not doing that for Otka's cause, but for my own. That crown sod owes me a lot. I mean, you're on your own, though, at this point. All the other guys are convinced to leave. But why don't you go yourself, then? I would bet all my money on you and a stealth operation, not on Otker's band of misfits. Hmm, you're making a lot of sense. I won't have to depend on anyone else, and I'll save those naive fools' lives. I need some good poison, though. A real potent one. Oh, God, I mean, I've got poison at home, but okay, I'll have to go grab that. I can get you anything you want. Sure, why not? Uh, there's one person, only one person I know could bruise something deadly enough. His name's Elric. Oh, God, we gotta get it from someone specific. And he lives in the, s oh, the swamp dude. Oh, wow, we finally actually got to go talk to him. Ask him for the strongest stuff, and have in mind that he's batshit crazy. Swamp Madman, perfect, yeah. Great, we got to talk to that dude now. I mean, I'm excited that we finally get to talk to him, but at the same time... Really? This is what it was? I was hoping we'd finally talk to him down the road when, you know, um... We encountered something a bit more important on, like, the main mission. Uh, but now it appears to be just a uh, brew of poison for this idiot here. <laughs> all right, well, steal all the things. Really, they were going to go after him with bronze arrows and wooden spears? The king? You fools. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I'm taking all your stuff. <laughs> I'm going to sell it, too. It's going to be great. Make some money off of your, you idiots. Alright, alright, and... Now it doesn't look like anything else we can take. Fair enough. Wait, hold on. Now, see, this one is, in fact, Rob. Hmm. Can I sleep here? No, no. What time is it? Nine o'clock? Now we still wouldn't be able to make it back home in time. So, might as well start wandering this way and then, you know, camp along the road when we're there. Hmm. And Ewees will teach him to fight. First you walk forward real slow and then you just stand still while the arrows hit you. And then somehow, Eweasel continues standing even after you die. <laughs> still unsure how that keeps happening. <laughs> Alright, I need to grab some sticks for the campground later. <laughs> how many is the thing? I don't remember how much it... It's been so long. Uh, 16. Really? <laughs> Alright, fine, 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 fine. Another thing right here. There we go. Torch. That's 14. Aha, here's a little tree. Nice, we're good. All right, Dave, we're heading to the swamp again, buddy, but this time for an actual purpose. <laughs> you know, I was really hoping, though, we would talk to that dude, and I really figured it would be for something in the main mission. His whole area just seems a bit too important for just a little side mission like this, but, um, okay. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we still will. Hopefully we still will. Hopefully a interesting looking character in an interesting looking locale isn't wasted on just some small minor side mission where some dude wants poison. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh, and Beastie Bunny confirming we'll deal with him for another mission as well. Ah, oh, thank you, Beastie Bunny. I appreciate that. Yeah, just straight through the woods. I don't remember the area where we're in right now. Was there bears or anything around here? I don't remember. <laughs> there's wolves! I hear the howling! Oh, there's one right in front of me. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Dodging trees in the middle of the night, not a good plan for me. Oh, bo oh boy. Oh, God. We are going to die. You guys might finally get your wish of seeing me chucked off the donkey. Oh! 
Ah, oh, got another one! <laughs> Run! Okay, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I think when we get close to the water over here, I think we should be by the river in a moment. We'll make our campground. <laughs> we'll be safe. We'll be safe. And didn't get knocked off the horse. Slash donkey. <laughs> All right. Oh, we spotted a deer. How did we never figure that deer? We've been through this area a number of times. Oh, well. All right. Oh, boy. Yeah, I really kind of went a little bit all over the place in my direction I was heading, didn't I? All right. We'll camp on this island. In sci-fi, wake up from camping surrounded by murder cows. I wouldn't put it past them. <laughs> okay. So, hammer. I mean, do we actually need, even need the hammer, really, for, like, a small campfire? But, boop. Alright. Light it. And, you know what? Have a, have a nice drink before we go to bed. There we go. Hydrate. And sleep. Beautiful. Magnificent. And, you know, gotta make sure we put out the fire. I don't want, I don't want to cause a fire here on the island. <laughs> Even though it's not a thing, but still. Destroy your campfires. There we go. Clean up after yourself. Only leave footprints. <laughs> All right, into the swamp we go. Any barrels or anything? No. Uh, oh, we need a little bit more water here. Here we are. Very watery locale, this part of the world. Okay. Oh, God, the murder cows are there! Hello. <laughs> you know, if we would have camped on the other side, it might have been, it might have come to pass what you were saying in the comments there. All right. Well. Let's go talk to, talk to Swamp Dude. Oh, God, we're probably going to have to get him, like, specific mushrooms or something that with my luck aren't going to grow in this season. Uh, I didn't think about that. All right, off the donkey. And... Beastie Bunny, one more island over a murder cows. Yeah, we found him. <laughs> All right. Were these steel? Yeah, these were steel. <laughs> Let's talk to dude. Is he asleep? He's asleep. He's not going to wake up when he's asleep, is he? Oh, no, we're good. Howdy. Sorry for waking you, buddy. But hello, I was asked to buy the strongest poison in your arsenal. Oh, my. That's what I like to hear, baby. <laughs> Spray stuff, kill stuff, no stuff. <laughs> Whatever you need gone will be gone. I take no prisoners with my toxic babies. Okay, this dude's, this dude's weird. Okay, great. How much? I don't want money as no. Who needs coin when you live among the shrooms, am I right? Oh, this dude's been... He's been eating too many shrooms. How... What I need is you, baby. Oh, yes. Wait. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm already spoken for, man. I got a wife. And a kid soon. <laughs> Not like that, dummy. Gross. Ew, blah, ew. No, no, no. I need you to drink this. Uh-oh. This might be worse. What is it? No idea. That's what I need to find out. He oh, God. Brewed it myself. But I don't know what it does yet. What? Well, yeah, why don't you drink it then? Are you mental? That's crazy. I could die. But you'll be fine. That one bird with a funny hat always says you're special. What? I don't, I don't think we should drink anything this man gives us. Or talk to him ever again. <laughs> And despite him being a fucking cheat at dice, I trust the bird. He's never wrong about people. Here, grab the potion now. Did you hear that? Is it go, go, go drink? I'm going to fake drinking the potion. <laughs> you beastie buddy swamp gas, not good for the brain. Sci-fi, trust him. He sounds sensible. I don't think I want to know. I'm going to fake drinking the potion. You know, I kind of want to see what it is, though. I kind of want to see what it is. 
We should have quick saved before we talked to him. <laughs> sure, why not? Go to go. What what bad could happen? I, I doubt it'll kill me. Hopefully. <laughs> Woo wee, that's some premium shit. You look like you could go with monsters with both swords at once. Brutal. Can, can I get the poison now? Sure thing, baby, I got lots. You never know when you'll need to melt some brains out of the skulls. Here you go, now you can watch out. It's that cheating bird again. Come taste my blade, you feathery bastard. Okay, I'm blurry now. I thought it was me for a moment. I had to check. I was like, wait, I am wearing my glasses, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, look at all the status effects we have down there. Oh. Alright, well, they'll go away soon enough. Is there somewhere we can actually see all the individual status effects? I never remember. Well, I guess we do have this. I mean, we're poisoned, obviously. We're also intoxicated, clearly. We also have additional carry weight. And yeah, uh, something with our fighting is buffed. Cool. Well, it worked out. Though the world's super blurry and I don't like that. <laughs> Alright. Donkey, let's... Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh, God. Oh, the controls. The controls are weird. <laughs> In sci-fi, yes, very, very wibbly. Uh, and yeah, Galatus, I'm actually kind of disappointed in that, too. No pretty colors. Sad. I would have thought we'd have something for that, but no. Oh, well. All right, well, out we go. Why am I following the road? Follow the waypoint. Far easier. Oh boy, though with, uh... Actually, we lost the intoxication, so it's actually not that wibbly now anymore. I was about to say, with the wibbly nature of our riding at the moment, that might have be good to go through the trees. But now we're fine. We're fine. Just gotta go through the river, despite the fact that there's a bridge right there. <laughs> I make great choices. There we go. Anything back there I might have missed? No. No barrels. Alright, slow down for a moment. Now I see boars over there. And apparently we've discovered badgers in the locale. Lovely. Oh god, and wolves! Ride, ride quicker! Stamina's back. Just go. I don't need... Oh, there's one right there. Oh, hey. I do not need them in my life. Oh, uh, what is... Okay, just road. Just road. We're good. Got real worried when I saw rocks. I was like, oh, no. Is there a cliff down there? I don't remember. All right, we're good. We're back to this area. Good, 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 good. Got us. Dave's in control. <laughs> BC Bunny, don't puke on Dave. Now nah, we're good on the intoxication. Now we're fine. Dave's. D if anyone can get us home safely, it's Dave. I'm the one who's in control whenever we, you know, crash. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. He'll be a okay. Alrighty. We're back on this road and go turn in some poison to this dude. And then after that, probably to Piastopia. And if I'm remembering right from last week, that is the last mission available to us at the moment for the season. Would appear so, except for the job board, of course, but meh. Wonderful, we're good. And Bionicle, of course, being disappointed that I didn't fall off the, uh, <laughs> fall off the donkey. How dare you. Guys, always cheering for me to fall off the donkey. It's just rude. <laughs> uh, I mean, I like the bell. I like the bell. But it always kind of worries me whenever I'm coming into town and I hear the bell going off. I'm like, are they warning of my approach? <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? What's going on? What? Oh! <laughs> well, you guys got your thing. <laughs> you got your crash. Straight into a torch. Oh, no. Hold. Hold E. Hold E. You guys finally got it. <laughs> it's been a couple of episodes. 
Oh, great, 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 great. And of course, everyone going yay in the comments. How dare you? <laughs> Sci-fi physical applause. <laughs> uh, damn torch in the middle of the road. Well, I mean, it was, it was off the side, but you know, middle of the road. <laughs> hey, Wilhelm. Did you succeed? Of course, I always deliver. Here, it's yours. Any trouble with Elric? Him sweet fellow was a true delight. Just being around the lunatic is troublesome enough. I'll go with none. Good to hear that. So, what are you going to do now? There's no time to waste. If I want to save Odger and the others from getting themselves... Ca uh, dude, I already convinced the other two to leave. It's just Odger and you. I need to leave at once. Thank you, stranger. I'll have my revenge served cold at last. Oh, the other two I convinced to leave. This dude's going to go get himself killed. Oh, well. Yeah, it was nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Nah, it's nice knowing you. You're on your own, Wilhelm. You made your choice. You're old enough. The others were younger. You're 39. You should know better. <laughs> disappointed we didn't get a scream, though. I am disappointed. Alright, so yeah, it looks like we head to... Piastovia now. Yep. Alright, go talk to Otker and tell him we've destroyed his entire plan. Wonderful. And Bionicle, sober when it happened to boot. Yeah, you know, it wasn't when we were wibbly. It was long past that point when we crashed the donkey. Grant, let's be honest. All the other times we've crashed the donkey, we were also sober. Sometimes, you know, you, you hit a thing. Such is life. Sometimes you just run straight into a torch post. <laughs> Uh Bionicle, call now we know Kodopos should only drive Wibbly. <laughs> uh, no, that'd be worse. Genuinely, I'm surprised we didn't crash earlier, but oh uh, well we're good. Uh, hello, cart. I've been cutting th oh it's empty. Dang it. I mean, we could grab that plank, but meh. I've been cutting through the woods so much recently just to beeline it to places I, I forget that, oh yeah, hey, carts are a thing in this. <laughs> Granted, we didn't have any luck there, but no well. And hey, beeline. <laughs> through the woods. We already did kill these bandits fairly recently. I think last season, so we're good. They're not going to be here. And oh. Hello. Well, yeah, no one around. You... We've definitely cut through here several times. This has never been here before. Ooh, oat beer. And tin ore. Noise. Sure, I'll take the shovel. Why not? Hold, not press. Every, like, half the time I try and get on the donkey, I press rather than hold. Yeah, we killed those guys recently, and so we're good. So let's continue on our journey. Oh, no. Rope was over this way. And Jay, Otker is an idiot who needs an axe to the dome or a hammer to the face at least. Yeah, he's a real dang fool. Where? Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. Weren't we trying to talk him out of this for like his father or something though? I don't remember now at this point. Ooh. Here we go. The rest is planks. Oh, we've got some wheat. <laughs> yeah, yay. Wheat, wheat, woo. And some planks I still don't care about. I was hoping there'd be a sickle. There is not. Just wheat and planks. Oh, didn't get the wheat. I did it, I did it again. I did it again. Beastie Bunny ants, daddy issues. Oh, great. <laughs> and sci fi oat beer, it's a sign drink it. Oh, we've already got oat beer on our inventory. So, I mean, it's nothing new. I do need some food, though. Do I have any food? 
I just realized how low I am. Do I have food? I don't remember. We got onions from somebody I assume we killed. <laughs> got some honeycomb. You know what? I'll eat all that. Sweet. <laughs> I was debating on it because that it does have an extra carry weight buff. Uh, and eating all of it just to get the food for now. I was like, oh, is that a waste? But nah, screw it. We got the oat bear. All right, before we talk to Otger, I got crap to sell. Sell all the stuff from his hideout that we stole from Hello him. There. Add a little insult to injury to him. Did yeah, we also found apparently a bow. We'll sell that. Some bronze arrows. Uh, the iron bolts. I'm gonna sell my spike cudgel and we'll keep the new one. Just need to remember to add it to my hot bar. So knife, pickaxe, you, you, and you. Sell them eggs. Onions go to the pile back home, the composting. Beer bottles, mead, wooden vials. All right, not a lot of cash, but a little bit, and I'm okay with that. A little bit of money is Thank always good. Some. See you around. Thank you very much, Dump Dump of Zier. All right, before I forget, let's add the add the new cudgel. Oh, also you. There we go. All right, you were on two. Perfect. All right, Otker, I've destroyed all of your plans. <laughs> you fool. Go away. It's over, Otker. What's that supposed to mean? Your little pretend rebellion is done. There's no one left to aid you in your mission. Your house is empty. All of your supporters have fled. I'm going to go with that one. That's a little bit of extra insult. What? What have you done? What your father asked of me. Saved your life and stopped you from making a huge irreversible mistake. You, you fucking, I, I will snap you like a, I dare you to try, Otger. I will take you down. You won't because deep down, you know I'm right. Don't embarrass yourself. You couldn't harm me if you tried. I like that one. Forgive me, Otger. I understand how you feel, but this is for your own good. No, 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 no. You, you couldn't hurt me if you tried. Oh, yeah? You want to find out how wrong you are? All right, fine. You're not worth it. Hell yeah, you were all talk. I knew you would be, Otker. All talk. You're not worth it. You're just a mindless muscle used in my father's game. He should be the one answering for this sabotage. Well, you know where to find him. Yeah, I do, and it's finally time for the old fart to face the bloody music. Uh, I'll go with you just in case. Lead the way, then I want to see if uh, see it for myself. Bear with you so you two don't kill each other. Yeah, yeah, I'll go that one. So do I actually gotta, like, wait for him? Oh my god, would I actually have to follow him? Although, oh wait, where is he going? Is he, he's going a different way from what I would have. Huh? Oh my god, am I actually going to have to fall? Oh no, we actually got to follow him all the way there. Oh no. Hold on, let's just test this theory. Is he going to stop again? He, he, he does. He does. Oh, can't we just kill him? <laughs> He's so slow. I've got to just tap W on the donkey to move forward. Oh, we got to go all the way back to Skowky like this. Oh, no. Oh, he was going for this bridge, I bet. Oh, no. Galdus escort mission. The worst kind of mission. Oh, my God. It's going to be so... Are we actually going to have to defend this fool? If, is he going to get attacked by things? Do, do I have to keep him alive? Do I have to keep him alive? <laughs> Ugh. I need a drink. 
Oh no. Oh, we should be off the donkey then. It's gonna take us too long if he gets attacked for us to get off the donkey and attack him. <sighs> and Ewe's a one day dev game devs will realize nobody likes these. They already know. They already know. No one likes them. Not even game devs. But to them, it's easy filler. <laughs> That's why they do it. That's why they do it. Ugh. Can I just can I just shoot him in the back while we go? I mean, I doubt anything's actually bad is going to attack us, but just in case. Let's be off of the donkey and... Oh, God, he doesn't even run. This is walking speed. This is walking speed. We're not even... We're not... Oh, oh, he sprints. He sprints. Never mind. If I sprint, he does. Oh, beautiful. Okay, oh, except I'm faster. So, second thing game devs need to learn. Don't make yourself a different speed than the characters. <laughs> At least on the plus side, he does sprint. This is good. But still, I'm catching up to him. So I'm just going to run right at his back. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, well, good thing. Good thing he does run. Our stamina's back. Go, go, go. I'll just run straight into his back again. Keep him going. Keep him going. <laughs> oh, God. Yep, we're right on him now. We are shoving him along. We are pushing... Otger to Skalky. <laughs> this is so dumb. Why couldn't we just meet him there? Uh... Where the hell are you going off trail there, buddy? Keep it moving. Yeah, we'll be safe. We've gone this part of the route multiple times. He'll be safe from here. And sci-fi game devs are a weird type of vampire that gain power from the sound of groans of anguish. <laughs> oh, oh, and Robbie having a banana and strawberry smoothie. That sounds good. You know, I got stuff to make a fruit smoothie in the morning. I will... Well, I mean, clear I was going to have it in the morning, but I'll have that in the morning. <laughs> And Jay just need a spare axe and a good lie. <laughs> well, I just, you know, tell people a wolf got him. <laughs> They'll believe it. Oh, boy. All right. Here we go. You know, he doesn't deserve an arrow. He's going to get a beating. <laughs> he gets the cudgel. God, it's already getting late in the day. <laughs> Oh, all right, all right, here we go. Get back to sprinting a little. Stamina's back. Come on. Oh, God. Just keep running into him. Oh, okay. Over this way now. Where's your father? Oh, there we go. We're in. Otter, my son. I was. Oh, my God. We're actually getting like a little cutscene. Too much of a coward to mess with my plans yourself, huh? I just knew you wouldn't listen to me. You never listen. Boy, I wish this game had voice acting. And what about you? When was the last time Mr. Important was willing to, was a leader, actually, that took someone's advice into account? You're too bloody odd, old and stubborn. Okay, fair. I'm stubborn. You insisted on leaving the house. You keep on ignoring your brother as if he didn't even exist. Not to say anything about how you treat my new wife. You're kind of being a real dick there, Gilbert. Yeah, that's where we differ. I don't just go and get myself a new family after Mom died. I didn't choose to forget her out of convenience, you bastard. And I will be the one to avenge her. Avenge her? She died from an illness. Nobody hurt her. It was just bad luck. And don't you ever say I forgot her. I never will. Yeah, real dick move, Otker. Bad luck, my ass. She wouldn't have gotten sick if she hadn't worked to death. How can you respect those who kept you prisoner for years? Stop defending them. They slaughtered our people like vermin. Eradicated us. We are nothing like them. Nothing. You're right. We were nothing alike when we came here. And it would all end differently if we were the ones to win. There wouldn't be a penal colony. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Exactly. Finally, you remembered your heritage. Gilbert. 
because we wouldn't take prisoners. We didn't put people in shackles and cages. No, we clubbed them to death. Oh, okay. That was our way, our heritage. We had orders to kill every man, woman, and child on our way. Every fucking one. Okay, okay. Ocker, rebuttal. You're still an ass. I hate you. You, you never told me that. You're surprised? Uh, should I have told my baby boy that he comes from a line of barbaric savages? Or maybe you wanted me to sing you lullabies about the massacres? I kept it all inside. For you. Father. <laughs> Mia never wanted you to know. She didn't want you to feel ashamed of who you are. Like we did. We had to bust our asses for decades to change the way people looked at us, put in twice the effort, and you know what? We were fucking grateful for the opportunity. Ucker? I didn't know, father. I didn't know. I still want to beat him. You weren't supposed to know. We tried. I tried to keep you safe from it. But instead, I pushed you away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm here now, dad. No, you're still a dick. I hate you, Ucker. Did we, did we just finish? We heard a thump. Why is everything wait for next goddamn season? Wait for next season. Wait for next season. Wait for next season. <laughs> uh, can't I just beat them both? Ucker's a real dick of a kid. I, I don't... Mm. I, I'm out. Donkey... <laughs> God, I'm so glad we finally got the whistle. Let's go home, buddy. Let's go see our wife. Our functional family. <laughs> oh, boy. God, I gotta wait till next season for that one. Why is everything next damn season? Why don't they have a next day option in this game? Oh... <laughs> uh. Jay Otker's a total moron, but Gilbert is not much better. No, I'd say it's a lot better. A, a parent trying to keep some sort of harsh reality like that from their kid is a lot different from, you know, Otker's just complete and total dickishness. I mean, wasn't it like a fair few years after his mother died that he got re his father got remarried? I mean, at some point, eventually you do have to continue on with your life. You can't just wallow in, in shit forever. You need to be happy again. Someone being mad at his father for remarrying is just a real dick move. And it does not mean that you forgot your loved one who has passed. It just means that you are carrying on. Hi, <sighs> let's keep going. I don't like Ocker. Uh, all right, let's go home. Go say hi to our lovely wife. We'll be having our child next season. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why I was going to build the house, the new house off camera. I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot. I knew I was going to build a house off camera, but oh, God, hello. Are we going to be fine? Oh, no, that hurt Dave a little. Oh, I was trying to hit the ledge so he wouldn't fall as much. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh. And Binacle, wait for next season to find out why you need to always wait till next season. <laughs> All right, yeah, so here's our path. There we go. I see the village. Yes. We're home. Finally. All right. In sci-fi, not so much a cliffhanger as a halfway up the hill hang, hang or sanding. <laughs> yeah, fair. All right, we got some stuff to drop off. Hey, folks, I'm finally back. It's been a bit. Hope you're all well. Hope the village is doing all right. No one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, we didn't get any new tools we need to drop off, nor you. Yeah, we didn't get this stuff. There we go. Since it has been a bit, what's our copper doing? I should, I should make copper. <laughs> As I've got my guy doing a lot of tools, he's a little bit slower on actually... He doesn't actually, uh, smelt all the copper that we actually, uh, mine every day. 
Uh, okay. And sci-fi. Well, lady says her butt itches. Beware of cholera epidemic. Did someone say that? And I didn't... Jay, but if Ocker knew the truth, maybe he would not have thought to try and kill the king, since then he would know that his parents were bad people. I'd still also disagree with that, though. I mean, Why is again, so a parent trying to because of protect their taxes. kid from past of their people is maybe not the best thing ever, but that still doesn't justify dude wanting to do regicide. <laughs> no, nothing, honestly, from how it sounds that Gilbert raised his kid does it seem to justify uh, your wanting to go on the path of regicide? I mean, yes, sure, his pa parents did live in a penal colony for a bit, but now his father's the head of the goddamn village. <laughs> it's not like they're prisoners anymore. They were and now are free and, like, have status in their village. I don't even understand what, his, what the kid's beef is with the king, honestly. <laughs> He just seems like a real dick. The kid, not the king. <laughs> Alright, I gotta drop this stuff off over here. Dude standing... Uh, two people standing on the rock. What the hell? Does that become the argument rock or something? Uh, okay, real strange. Field should be fully planted by now. Oh, there we go. Oh, if that's the case, I need to move the other person into the barn. Uh, management. And... What do we have two production things? The workshop! Workshop! What are they out of resources for? Huh? What, what, what are they out of resources? <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand where their problem is here. Oh, the planks. Maybe? It seems like the one thing that maybe might be it. Uh, are we some storage? <laughs> no, they got planks. I don't understand what they're out of. We shouldn't be highlighting it in here with whatever they can't do. So yeah, they got clay, they got planks, they got sticks. Oh, maybe the... Actually, maybe the sticks. Uh, I thought we had sticks. I thought we were collecting enough. We're low on stick. We're low on stick. Okay, that's what it is. Uh, low on stick. Okay. Uh, you're doing... I think I actually have you guys doing slightly different things now. No, it looks like I did change you both. You know, I'm gonna bring down planks and add more sticks. You know, yeah. Still don't actually think that's enough stick, actually. Hmm. Unfortunate. Oh well. Uh, what was I also coming in here for? Oh yeah, the farm. The farm. The farm. The farm. Never mind, we already moved the people into the barn. I must have done that last stream and didn't think about it. Hmm. Okay. In sci-fi, their whole village has no bath. Judging from how dirty everyone in Skowki is, so maybe bad public services is beef. <clears throat> now, I know for a fact there's a couple of wash basins there because I've seen them when we've walked through. They got baths. Hacker's just a dick. <laughs> In fact, I shall clean myself, even though I don't need to. And... Also need food and water. <laughs> oh god, how are you doing? Ooh, zero. <laughs> okay. Let's grab some bowls. Grab some bowls. Ooh. That's not good. I wish I could sell my knees and buy some new ones. Okay, okay. Let's go over here. What time is it? Eight, yeah, we'll finish that before the end of the day. God, our freaking, our freaking kitchen. 
I swear to God, I uh, they're just the worst. All right, let's grab you. Eight, nine, ten. There we go. I'll make ten of them. And sci-fi, the autumn pottage making extravaganza. <laughs> Oh god, how much is a pottage for each one? I can't remember. I know one of them requires three and one requires two, so I'm just gonna grab 30 of both. <laughs> we got more than enough cabbage. Holy crap, look at all of our cabbage. Uh, there we go, and... There we go. Still not through our previous season's meat. And a boom. We can make ten pottages. Lovely. Sci-fi three meat, two cabbage. Okay. Well, I grab some extra cabbage then. You sure about that? You sure you don't got that mixed up? You sure you know that the other way around? Yeah, it's three meat, two cabbage. Okay, it is. Fair enough. I was just waiting for the other the thing to pop up again. <laughs> I thought it said the other way around when it popped up the first time. I was like... We, uh, we sure about that? <laughs> and Ewees will make coleslaw. Oh, if only we could. Well, let's be honest. At this period, it'd probably be more sauerkraut than coleslaw in here, around here. But, you know, still good. Still good. I've actually got some sauerkraut fermenting downstairs right now. Good times. Homemade sauerkraut's delicious. All right. You know, maybe I should have grabbed an 11th bowl. So I'd eat one for myself and have 10 for the town. Oh, well, I'll just eat the one. They'll, they'll get nine. Hmm. Living here is definitely better than living on the road. You know, not much. Will Truda, then you can get the hell out of town. <laughs> I've given you a home with a candle and badger rugs. There's a bed. I provide food. Whereas you were sleeping in a tent. Go screw yourself, Ultruda. Can I just kick her out of town? You know what? Since we did just get another ball, we can just make another one real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then still have ten for everyone else. Conversations about the weather. All right, there we go. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. An e weasel. I like Frank's myself. Is is that a brand of a brand of sauerkraut that I'm? I don't know. I haven't bought sauerkraut in years because I always make it. So um, if that's a brand, then I don't know it. <laughs> All right, there we go. Everything. Oh, yeah, and water. Then bed. Our poor wife hasn't seen us in two days. He weasel Frank's quality uh, quality kraut. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I, I don't think I've bought sauerkraut in maybe like a decade. <laughs> it's just always make it. I always find the homemade stuff tastes the best. For that. Not for everything. Some stuff is better store-bought. All right, we're good. Yeah. Huh. Maybe I should just leave it all and become a bandit. Why, Gertruda? Why? <laughs> Look at the life you have right now. Look at the what life I've provided you. <sighs> Why is everyone, including my wife in this village, so ungrateful for everything I do for them? <laughs> all right, we got chores to do. There's poo. <laughs> we need fertilizer. Granted, do we actually? Because we're not actually going to be able to plant anything next season. Because winter, right? Yeah, everything I've got planted right now is... Will, uh... You know, go through until the spring. Yeah. But still. But still, good to make sure we got plenty of fertilizer. How the pig's doing? Holy crap, it's just poo everywhere in here. Yes, yes, oink oink to you too, piggy. Don't mind me just cleaning out your stuff. Beastie Bunny, pretty sure we already gave her a gift. I think we gave her the shawl at the beginning of the season that we had. I don't think I actually have any other gifts for her, though, now for next season. Unfortunate. You know, we should collect... Oh yeah, look at all them eggs. Yeah. 
Delicious eggs. Alright. Oh, out of my way, rooster. I need the stuff. Get it. Got it. Really wish these people did their jobs better. And madam, you are holding open the gate. No wonder the chickens got out last time around. Close the gate! We're in a farming village here, Berta. You, you go through and you close it behind you. God, no wonder they keep escaping. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, boy. All right. The sci-fi true, the village has no tavern, so it must be purgatory for your dear wife. I keep booze in our household storage. She should know that. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure we got some booze in there right now. I provide for my wife. <laughs> and Shadow of Lucario, hello to you too. Hopefully you're having a lovely evening. Alright, drop off the poo. And the feathers. 80 manure, not bad. How much manure we got actually on right now? And fertilizer, 27 fertilizer. Yeah, by spring, we're going to need 150, so hopefully they should be able to make enough for, uh, between then and now, over the course of the next season. Oh, we got 182 there, so not bad. We could probably just end up making it ourselves. In fact, we'll probably have to. What is the barn doing? Trying to figure out math right now. <laughs> All right, so they make almost 17 a day. They're not going to be enough to, for spring. <clears throat> All right, I'll just have to make some at some point, but we'll let the manure keep on piling up. Let's figure out where I want to put the next house. Since I do need to get more people, since next season, my wife is going to be having her child, so she's not going to be in the hunting shed anymore. And what was it that I wanted to do other than that? We did get that other production person recently, didn't we? Yes, yeah, so we've got two people in the workshop now. We still don't really do enough with the uh, like fabric and all, with flax, to put anyone in the sewing hut. So, meh. Well... Hmm... I mean, maybe... Yeah, maybe get another production person? Wait, hold on. Where are we at technology? We're getting close to the mine. That's good. But we'll need a whole new set of people for that. I'll just get hire two miners. Still a ways from the herbalist hut to... Almost a barn, too. Yeah. I was hoping to be closer to the fold. Almost got kitchen, too. That's nice. We've already got people working those. Hmm. And Shadow, your evening's going good. How about mine? You know, mixed bag. Mixed bag. <laughs> we had to do a, uh, a escort quest earlier, so, you know. Hmm. <laughs> and my kitchen person sucks. Yeah, I don't know, actually, what I want to do with our next person. We Again, we need a hunter for sure. But who else? You know, do we have any of our current existing buildings that can take two but only have one? How oh, the wood sheds. Hmm. Our most talented lumberjack was seven there. Other person, four. Boy, what's the difference between those? 61.5 sticks there. Hundred and okay, yeah, yeah, it makes a difference. Is he our most skilled person in general? I think they are. Yes, yeah, seven on the lumber on their uh, whatever that one is. <laughs> Extraction there is the proper word. Yeah, I think they are our most skilled person in general. The only person past a four. No, I could have sworn we have someone that's a five. Some, um, You know, I'm probably thinking of them. Man, they've really been going hard at that whole lumberjacking thing. <laughs> oh, and they're working towards that eight. Neat. Hmm. 
The sci-fi barn too adds two people to the barn, I think, so we could double fertilizer production. We already have two people in the barn, so I don't need four in the barn. That's just excessive. Uh, considering how quickly the things that we do have them do goes, I'd rather just make the fertilizer myself. <clears> hmm. <throat> more people in the hunting shed might not be bad, though. Dear God, do we need more than two people in there? I mean, we are getting more people, which means we need more meat. Yeah, I'm torn on who to get, but still, nonetheless, we'll be having or needing a new home. I'm thinking, I mean, do I just want to put it there or do right here? Or do I want to put it somewhere else? I don't know. Make like, um, eventually, at the, because those idiots and leaving over the, th oh, now the rooster's messing with the gate. You have a choice. It's like, <sighs> I just, they just do whatever they want. Damn chickens. <laughs> what was I saying over here? Oh yeah, eventually back here, I'm going to make like a, a washing area for people. Uh, where's the stuff? Workstations there. Yeah, we got all these laundry ones. Figured that might be fun. Just for some aesthetic. Uh, eventually, in that household right here, where we've got the chickens and all, there's also a feather plucking station, but unfortunately requires, like, a lot of... Yeah, you know, it requires 3,500 production points. We have 1,295. <laughs> the hell? Uh, I was gonna put it like right, right, right in here. Uh, an e weasel. You need to build a pillory to punish those who do not close the gates. If only we had a pillory to build, that would be magnificent. God, where do I want to put the new house? What are you doing over here? Shit. What do you do, madam? <laughs> You're a miner. Why are you... Why are you poking the dirt? <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Could we fit another house in on the other... No, I don't want to put another house in on the other side. We already got enough houses there. I really don't know where I want to put this new house. Eh, one wouldn't fit. Yeah, it wouldn't fit there. I don't know if I'd want it here anyways. I kind of like this being a little farming area that we can decorate up a bit more later. No, don't want to be too far out there. He was a poking stone, collecting stone, question mark. I mean, that's the best I can think, maybe. Yeah, honestly, I think the only place we can really put it is here. Hmm. You know, I don't know what I want to do with that. But, you know what we should do? Thinking before we do end the stream tonight. Go sell some more stuff in uh, town. So I've been making baskets and all for a fair few days. So I probably should make a run there real quick before the season ends. And hopefully, between this uh, episode and the next, I actually do get some proper time off camera where I can... Uh, do some mining too, mainly for tin, so we can make some more bronze stuff. But oh, it's actually tool-wise. Now that we're fine with that, we're fine with. Get still like five of these copper knives. There we go. Two of you. Three of you. Uh, that will all leave for now. Ooh, I actually think I need to turn that back up. I think we were at like four hundred. I'm remembering last stream. Ugh, crap. Maybe I do need more people for lumberjack work. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should do. Maybe that's what I should do. Hmm. Yeah, let's just sell, like, some of you. There we go. Just to get rid of some things, make some money. There's our baskets. Uh. Anything else? You know what? We'll sell a couple of you too. The rest, I think, is fighting. Hold on, no furs. Kind of passed right by those, didn't I, earlier? Yeah, there we go. And. Donkey. 
All right. And Shadow, quick question. Have you seen or at least heard of Has Been Hotel? I haven't watched it since it came out, but I did watch long ago when they had the, um... Oh, God, what's the word? The pilot? There's the right word. The pilot on their YouTube channel? Because I got that other show that I can't remember the name of right now that, uh... Oh god, what was that name that was, like, in the same universe? I don't remember. But I like that show, and then I saw their pilot for that. Haven't seen any of the, uh, proper episodes now that it's releasing. Thank you, Shadow. Hell of a boss. That's what the other one was. I liked that one. It was good. But yeah, nope, have not seen any of the new episodes of, uh, Has Been Hotel. And thank you for reminding me about it, though. I have actually been meaning to. I meant to add it to my watch list, but... I kept forgetting. <laughs> and sci-fi, will I eventually have orchards or just put single trees outside of houses? I do, I do plan on doing orchards eventually. But I have an idea for where I want them, but the problem is I need to build the rest of the village first. So that I don't have to end up destroying the orchard <laughs> down the road. Uh, because I need basically, uh, let's actually just go to the map since I can zoom in. My plan, we got like our main production area over here and some of our housing, some of our housing here. I plan on having like the market and all here. Eventually the tavern will be like right here. More housing here-ish and then orchard here as like the edge of uh, defining the village. But I need to build all this stuff first, but I really can't until I at least have the market stalls so I can build where I want to put those. God, the tavern's going to be a real pain in the butt to wait for, but hmm. Hmm. In Shadow, do I have a favorite character from Hell of a Boss? I genuinely do not remember any of their names. <laughs> but I do remember, like, the main one. He was pretty fun, and the... Yeah, that's really the only one I thought was really, really fun. <laughs> I don't remember his name, though. The boss of their little group. I guess Wolf How Girl's alright, but... Remember. It's been so long since I watched that. Okay, well, let's sell all the things. You don't got a lot of money left, do you? Yeah, well, we'll get what we can from him. And... Actually, he may have more than enough money. No, because we also got all that. All right, yeah, we got all the baskets from, and that's it. So we'll have to sell the furs and letters. Someone Only else. The best. See you around. All right. Hello, oh, boss Namir. How's it going, buddy? And a fur. And leather. Nice. Almost 12 grand. Is there anything else I was missing, or are we good? Nope, that Not seems like it. Good luck. One of the travelers All right. Well, with that then, a lovely and successful trade run. And considering we are at the 10 o'clock point now, a little bit past, that is where we are going to end for today. I will try off camera, hopefully, if I can actually make the time to get the next house built. Granted, I don't remember if there were any good hunting people. Yeah, I don't remember the people we had available to us right now at the other villages. Hmm. But I would like to check the villages again for people before the end of the season. So that just in case we get a good one. Uh, or so we can find a good one just in case next season there isn't a good one. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to figure that all out. But hopefully you all have enjoyed this one today, and you do come back for the next one. But until that time, thank you for watching. As always, we'll have a good one.